Hello and welcome you crazy people, my name is Jay and today FFG, it's still FFG for now, have blessed us with two articles regarding the specialists for the Republic and the Separatists. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because it's late in the UK and everybody's in bed. So yes, I'm never sure what we've seen and what we've not seen. So if some of this isn't new to you, then I apologise. But we're just going to go through and see what we've got. They're coming out this month, I think in about two, three weeks, something like that. Um, I have read the articles and obviously straight away forgot everything. <laughs> um, but there you have it. So the Separatists, for those who don't know, we have them in the em Empire and the Rebel factions. It's four minis, as we can see here. And uh, these four minis basically, um, well, traditionally what we had was a leader and then a comms guy, a medic, and then essentially a medic, <laughs> an engineer, but which basically a medic for a vehicle. And it's sort of the same thing. I think the droids are a little bit different because they don't have the comms guy, but, well, not a guy, it's a droid. A droid. So, uh, yeah, so the leader can obviously go in. I do apologise for this scrolly bit. It's because of Firefox, whatever reason. But the leader, you can put them in to... Uh, normally, you can put them into infantry units. In this case, you can put this guy into a clone trooper only. And then you get what you can see here for 20 points. Uh, you gain Inspire 1, you get Reliable, and they become the leader. Now in this case, they're not providing any different weaponry, it's just whatever the unit has. Fine, that's good. Um, but you can also field the exact same mini as the leader, like a, gener a generic commander. And uh, here's what you see on the screen. I'll be careful that I don't cover it up. Uh, Clone Commander uh, is 55 points, red defense dice, four wounds, two courage, three bite dice on the offense, uh, two, in melee, two red in melee, uh, bolster two, so uh, uh, you can choose up to two friendly units at range one and they both gain a surge token, fine, that seems interesting, um, I'm, <laughs> this di I'm not sure what direct means, it might be in the rule book and I've just not seen it and I've just not paid attention, but basically you can give, I think just for free, that you just issue an order to a clone trooper unit Pretty nice, really. I think that's pretty good. Um, sharpshooter 1. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing really special to say about that. Um, gen generic commanders are, by design, like not super powerful or anything like that, but they're super useful in certain lists. Like, if you didn't want to go, um, you know, Jedi heavy or what have you, you know, you've got Rex and a corn commander, so... There you have it. So, uh, very interesting. Now, there is... This opens a new... <laughs> paid for whatever reason i'm literally no idea but i don't know if this is new but i think it might be um you gain take cover one uh, well you can give take up well you get take cover one which basically means you can give a unit a dodge token um battle one uh, b1 droids can just ignore the comms upgrade fine and then we actually see the three generic cards now i really like these <laughs> um yeah so we'll go through them now i'll just read synchronized offensive here but there actually is a clickable version synchronized offensive uh it's at one pip one vehicle which sounds bad but actually when you read it after a friendly vehicle unit is issued an order uh, you can choose a friendly clone trooper unit um, at range one to two of it and issued that an order so you can basically it's not daisy chaining but you go from you get your vehicle and then probably a unit close to your vehicle so it's basically two units which i think is pretty decent now we'll have to click the rest of them uh, now beam i'm pretty sure was added to the rule book and here it says that beam uh, it can it, you, you like can line up your shot and slice through units now i don't know if it has to be in a straight line or if it's just within like range one or something but attacking multiple units with this could be very strong it's this is basically your support so um you can you, you can uh, your um, commander or your vehicle can basically use this and um it's, it's like layers one pip and um v is this pip is it one pip not the one pips is it the one pips three pips which are the fire support one i can't remember how many pips it is but there you have it it's basically like that pretty good but yeah like beam uh slice through tight enemy formation so i wonder if that's right it's in the rule book so somebody will tell me but it's either going to be like range one or maybe in a line i sort of prefer it to be in a line but there you have it and uh, then we have uh, make an attack which is the three pip the other one was the two pip uh three clone troopers so obviously your normal three pip is just three units in this case it's three clone troopers but you do get a benefit um when a unit is issued this you actually uh, can gain one surge token or remove one suppression token pretty good i think if you're running a clone heavy list there's no harm throwing that three pip in if you were going to throw the generic one in you probably get use out of it so that's pretty decent and then we're on to the 
the other three units, uh, three models, you get your medic. Now, treat one capacity one, I'm just a bit sad by that because that's more expensive than a lot of the units, I think. I'm not 100% sure, I'd have to check out the numbers, but it's quite expensive for what it is. I don't necessarily, my instinct says we're not going to see that too much, but I could be wrong. <laughs> like, I'm, you know, always happy to be wrong. Um, it's the same for the engineer, the corn engineer repair one, uh, 18 points. Probably good if you're taking a vehicle and your list is dependent on vehicles. So, um, And you also get the the, uh, the comms, which is, in this case, 12 points. So that's it. I mean, it's coming out 22nd of January, so not too far. Uh, not a faction I play, so I don't really know too much about them, but everything there seems fine, expected. Uh, <laughs> I don't see anything that's like super, super crazy, but, you know, in the Discord, they're probably already conjuring up little quirks that I personally don't understand and can't see. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think everything there looks pretty decent, pretty thematic as well. Yeah, it's nice, especially if you don't want to run like a full Jedi list. Now, the, the Separatist version, sort of quite similar. They're, they're not fully mirrored, but they're pretty damn similar. Again, you get four models as normal. Your guy who goes in, I keep saying guy, it's a droid, bear with me. Um, interestingly, they get sidearm... Uh, ranged which basically i think means you have to use the weapon on the card you don't gain the weapon that the unit has for whatever reason uh, they lose ai attack which i do like um and you gain a reliable one and again you become the leader 18 points one red dice one wound solid no harm and the same thing generic guy uh generic leader i should say 55 <laughs> keep saying guy 55 points plus it's pretty much the exact same like literally the card is the exact same apart from it's attacking weapons like on the face of it you could i could see how people would be like that's not balanced but it's obviously balanced around the rest of the units because it's pretty much the exact same apart from the fact that um <clears throat> the ranged weapon isn't quite as well three black to one red one white maybe but the melee weapons was two red it's one white you won't get you got the same wounds and the same courage but you get white defense dice i don't think the other one had any surges either but same kind of thing, you can take the portal scan if you like. Combined, oh, did we look at Vigilance? But basically, this is, you know, it, it's what it's recommending to take that um, for whatever reason. And then, uh, it's also talking about you can give them strict orders and stuff like that. And then we get the no, the, the actual cards. We get Mechanized Incursion, incursion, which is basically the same as what we just saw. Um, you can issue an order to a droid trooper well you actually issue it to a vehicle and then you get it to the droid trooper fine it's pretty much exactly the same orbital strike is pretty much the exact same as the other two pip apart from the fact this time you get suppressive and it's a little bit more powerful but you don't have beam or anything like that immune to deflect yeah fine fine and then roger roger great sounded name pretty much the exact same apart from you don't remove a suppression token you can gain one dodge or one surge it was one surge or remove a suppression token i believe so yeah fine i got no crimes with that um the medical droid is capacity two but obviously it's cheaper but what you'd be healing is is more now i do wonder can you repair can you do the b2 battle droids is that now a b2 battle droids perhaps a potential there hmm maybe i don't know i don't play the faction enough to know but it, if you can heal the b2 battle droids you might be in with a good point per thing <laughs> point i can't think of it like effective use basically um you get the uh <laughs> wait sorry i, I just realized because <laughs> obviously droids are droids i was sort of curious if they would just have a mechanical guy rather than a healer and a mechanical person but no they do have treat one um which you know you can i'm presuming you're healing you can heal droids, right? <laughs> and then with this, you can only heal vehicles. I just find that funny because <laughs> I, I think we sort of maybe expected two engineers, but it is what it is. It's not really the end of the world. And then instead of the comms guy, you get this. Now, I don't know what observation tokens are, but apparently you can put two observation tokens on a unit. Um, and that side arm range says, well, well, this is what I was saying before. While performing a range attack, this means you can only use a weapon rights card. So if you do wipe this in a unit, it can only use the two white dice. One wound, eight points, fine. Yeah, I, that's it. <laughs> that that's that's all I have to say on it. It was just a quick little run through. They're not necessarily two factions I know too much about, but yeah, like 
they seem interesting coming out in January and then um, I'm not sure what the February release is because we've got Callus I think in Callus and Thingamajig uh, Lando in March and then we look like we've got those vehicles in April so like, what's Feb? <laughs> I don't know I'll find out uh, that's it I'm gonna go I'm not I'm not hanging about have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye